everyone, Kylie here with Lone Rock Longhorns. Aaron has already left for the day. As you can see, I'm about to. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know uh, it's been a very eventful weekend. <sighs> You'll see in those next coming videos. Um, I do have to warn you guys, it's kind of graphic. Um, if you have a weak stomach or don't really want to see things like that, you know, fast forward. Um, but we're uh, just trying to be as realistic as we can be when it comes to um, having a ranch and calving season and, and all of that good stuff. But I can tell you, if you can make it through watching it, um, she and baby are okay. They're both doing perfectly fine. Um, but you guys will see that. And then, um, I've been able to take a couple more videos with the Longhorns. It's getting really challenging. I don't know. Some, a lot of, we have a lot of new followers. So shout out to Chad. Thank you. Um, but for the new people, uh, I, we have a seven, almost eight month old boy, our first. Um, so it's been pretty challenging to say the least to make videos and and uh, get those up for you guys in a timely manner. Um, Aaron is a full-time farmer. I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom slash help when I can, feed the longhorns, all that good stuff with a 25 pound baby strap to me. So hang with us. We uh, apologize for that, but it's getting easier. He's getting where he's a little more happy to be outside and be strapped to me. He's in his playpen right here staring at me. But, um, so, uh, thank you. Thank you guys for following us. We hope you enjoy. And like I said, if you have a weak stomach, fast forward through what you're going to see here in a little bit. Um, but everybody's good. Everybody's happy. And we'll see you guys next time. Where's the fifth one? Where's the fifth one? Oh, just kidding. She was hiding. All right, well, we're gonna leave her alone for a bit and see if she can have this baby. Well, guys, it's been a couple hours since we found this girl in labor. And she's not progressing like we would have hoped. So I think Aaron's gonna get her up and give her a little help. I know, Mommy. I know. We'll help you though, sweetie. I know. Oh, why? Sweetie. Don't know if you guys can see her. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you won't be in here much longer, sweetie. You go out to the pasture. This is why we bring the girls up. Because they don't know what's going on, do ya? I'm sorry, baby. We'll help ya. He went to go get the stuff. Should be a very small calf. We purposely bred them to very small baby bulls. She just doesn't know what's going on. It's also very possible that the head's backwards. I mean, it's lots of things. The feet are pointing the right direction, so that's a good sign. Just got to make sure that head's in the right spot. You got it, Mama. You got it. You're doing so good. We'll get that baby out. Jethro, she does not need your help. Promise. All right, I'm going to hang this up for now. We'll be back.
feel her head. Said, I just need some help, Dad. It hurts. <clears throat> See, the sack hasn't broke yet. <clears throat> I'm talking to YouTube. Yes, yeah. yeah, if, if you guys are squeamish, don't watch. There you go. Oh, that's not a good sign. So that yellow that just came out is meconium, I think what they call it. That just means it's been a stressful labor. And that the baby passed some fecal in the sack. We've had it happen a time or two. We got you, mama. That's why you guys are home. This is a big foot. Yeah, it looks like a big baby. So much for your little scene, or your, we AI'd her to what was supposed to be a low birth weight bull. Jethro, you're a brave kitty. These four are the only ones that took, or I guess now there's five, but four, three that haven't had a baby yet to our AI. The rest of them are bred to an Aberdeen, so hopefully they're very, very small babies. That's why we bred her, bred them to him. You're such a good girl, Mom. You have no idea what's going on. You just know it hurts. I'm there. Need some help. You pinching her, her girl. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's cold. Easy, Mama. I know you're trying to help. He's trying to get it so he doesn't hurt your baby. You might just be able to grab her fe its feet. Maybe you won't need a chain. You gotta push for him, Mama. He said, I just did. <laughs> He's looking at the tree. That is definitely a big old baby. The other baby's feet weren't near that big. <coughs> hey, 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 easy killer. I just stepped in a pile of poo. What are you doing? I know it's cold. I know. I know. Got to help this mama. Yeah. Got to help her. You're doing a wonderful job, husband. Jethro, don't cause a problem. Would it be easier if we had a rep for you? Sorry I'm bouncing, guys. I've got a baby strap too. <coughs> easier if you try pushing, Mama. What do you need? Oh. Your handle. 
There you go, Mama. Oh my goodness. It'll be easier with her up, you think? Well, she'll get up. Come on, Mama. The angle will help you. The baby will slide out. Come on, you can do it. Come on. There you go. You easy girl. Put you in the shoes then, bud, honey. Just like that. Good place to go. Good job. You knew we were trying to help, huh? <clears throat> Sometimes I don't appreciate it, which, uh, don't blame her one bit. Hi, are you supervising? You want her in the squeeze chute or this one? I gotta get gates open, hang on. Yeah, okay. I have a hundred gates. It's, it's fun. Okay. Just a few more. Let's at least get her through this hole and I'll shut it. That baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know, honey. I'm sorry. We're helping you. Come on, mommy. He's going to do it right here if you don't go. I'll get back on here and help him get her in. Well, guys, I didn't video. It was a little traumatic. For them or me? Both. For you. But we got him. It's a little bull, or not little. <laughs> Massive bull calf. Not quite sure how this happened. It was definitely planned to be complete opposite of this. But Mama's has got some pain medicine and then a uh, yeah, antibiotic because that was pretty traumatic on her back end. But she's doing good. Gosh dang, that calf's huge. I mean, we are in Oklahoma. We could go to the store and get her some weed. Some weed? Mm -hmm. She's got better stuff than weed. It's definitely red. Yeah. As it should be. Okay. You wanna you wanna tell me how that how that happened? Red we purposely daddy. AI'd Red for daddy. small Red babies. Mommy. Red baby. That's how that happened. I'm talking the size. Genetics were supposed to say otherwise. Yeah, well, that's why nobody uses one of these. Oh. Like I said earlier. Only three more of this to go. Hopefully we didn't use this bull anymore. We got to verify. A little late now, isn't it? Yeah. That girl. Mark my words. I said four on my first, last video. You guys know that. Right there. Number 22 is going to be next. I told you. I told them anyways. I didn't tell you. 
Mama, I hope you got lots of milk in there because that baby's going to need it. Oh, in case you're wondering, I still have a little man strapped to me. I don't know if you guys saw him. Oh, man. We only cussed at each other a handful of times. Uh-huh. You're doing good, Mama. The baby's gonna be bigger than you when we wean him. Yeah, you got it, Mom. Let's go check on these other girls. Aaron might be coming to check on everybody a couple times tonight. Let's go see. You know what? Oh yeah, you're gonna have a baby before long. Look at you. You're springing and everything. What we got going here? How you looking? Look at her. Did I deep in? Uh, definitely number 22, husband. Gonna have baby next. All right, we're going inside. Get this baby where it's cold, or <laughs> get him out of the cold. Surprise. Everybody was okay at one. Everybody was asleep, except for her. She was eating like she lost a bunch of weight. So. <gasps> Your first steps. So we'll be back to check on them in a little bit. Go away. That's not your baby. It's not your baby. That's not your baby. I, I told you that's not your baby. You're just over there with the little earring in it. Some long horns. Okay, let them do their thing. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. Gonna go check babies. Somebody thinks they're starving. <clears throat> My mirror is dirty. Sorry about that. Here we go. Come on. What's your brother? This white haired one has a brother. He likes to venture. We usually only see him in the evenings. Come on. Go do some grub. Happy kitties. Stuff my my sweatpants back into my muck boots before we go in here. It got really cold last night, so maybe the mud's not as so you saw previous to this video we had another calf this morning check and make sure it's doing okay we don't know what it is my darn pants sweatpants are not made for muck boots it's frozen though so we're good good morning girls for the record, it was cow or heifer number 22 that had her baby this morning, like I called. Big boy from the fiasco yesterday is doing good. Mama's doing good too. Good 
That gets you girls out of this pen. Go back to your pasture, huh? Look at that size difference. They're from the same bull. All three of these are actually from the same bull. Genetics, we're not our friend on this one. Hi, Mama. You did good. Was that a little heifer, I think? Yep. Yeah. It's hard to walk on frozen dirt. Hi. Is she getting a drink? That's what we needed to see. You gotta stand still for her. Heifer's got to figure out. <clears throat> Nursing, that's the hardest part for heifers. Good job. Good job, Mama. Good job. Okay, we'll leave you alone. <clears throat> so there was a negative Nancy on our video this last go about saying that how dare us because we didn't have a like, clean place for these mamas to lay down and have a baby and you're correct it's not the most ideal places but notice she had her in the hay but this is the only place we can have them safe at home because i don't know if you see all this here what we had to do last night is why we have them here. Because if she would have been out in the pasture, away from home, she would have been dead this morning. And so would the baby. So. These girls, I would assume, maybe tomorrow, we'll probably head on back out to their pasture and then we'll bring some more home. So this is just a temporary holding place for their own safety. Hey, you're supposed to be eating. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, look how tiny. She's so cute. You're doing good, Mama. Pretty soon this little baby will be jumping around and playing. That baby's gonna be bigger than you when we wean him. Which one of you two are gonna be next? Huh? You don't look like you. I don't think so. Hi. Can we have baby? Not yet. Maybe. You both are close. You both are due. Uh huh. Loving that oat hay. Is that good stuff? Oh, I take it back. I think you'll have one soon. So, on this, kind of hard to see on her. This area right here is sunk in, and her back end is swollen. So that means she's getting, her ligaments are loosening up and getting ready for a baby. She also doesn't look very fat, which means the baby has probably positioned itself. <clears throat> and the birth canal ready to come out. You, you're just eating. <laughs> you want to say Hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so hopefully today, maybe old, old Red here, we'll have another baby. We'll get you knocked out hopefully in the next day or two. 
All you girls can go back out to the pasture and we'll bring your friends home. And we'll only have like 18 more to go. <sighs> Gotta love it. Oh guys, it's a little bit later. We got a little man hooked to me. Just checking on everybody. There's the first girl, the one we had this morning. Still waiting on these two. My bed's on her still. Barry has one by the end of the day. Then we got our big boy. Oh, hold on just a second. Make my way. Redster. You need to clear your throat, buddy. Seeping. Soaking up the sun rays. Somebody, grab my phone. Let's see if we can get the horses to come eat. <clears throat> Tilly May! Retro! Breadcrumb, I hear you! Come on! Come on, May May! Here she comes. Where'd you go? There you are. Making his way. Elsa, Johnny, come on. Come on, breadcrumb, Diego. Always first to the food trough. Come on. Diego, breadcrumb. Oh, be nice. Come on, breadcrumb. Hi, Diego. Hey, sugar. You gotta wait for breadcrumb. You're so pretty, May May. Yes, you are. There's breadcrumb. You guys, a farrier comes tomorrow. You know what that means? It means you gotta get caught in the morning. Yeah. Hi. All right. I'm gonna give them some food. I'll be right back. Okay. All done. Everybody's eating. We have some lucky loos here that think they're hungry. <clears throat> but I promise you're not. You have been fed a lot. Oh, we need it to dry up. I have to stand in knee deep mud to drink water. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Pretty soon we'll be upset because it's, it's too dry. Story of our life, huh? Look how you're looking cute. Hey, fabulous. Hey, look at me. She says, nope. Can you eat this horse's food? Retro doesn't share. 
especially with the cow. You're silly. <laughs> He's going out to check heifers one more time. Remember how he said he comes back at night? Every time. Hey, Bubba. Kitty, kitty. Hi. I know you have kitty food. I fed you. Oh, no, you're not tricking me. You're not tricking me. It's going to be chilly tonight. Guarantee you we have another baby in the morning. Oh, Rhett. <clears throat> Look at the kitty friends, bud. They're following us. Who needs a working dog? I have a working kitty. Olive, will you leave that baby alone? <laughs> Did I want to take a nap right here? I've got an ear tag. Oh, don't worry. Got my guard kitty. A big old pile of poo. <sighs> we don't raise working cats around here. <laughs> Hi. You gonna have a baby tonight? Still chasing kitty. <laughs> See, Jethro's smart. See, he's in the pen. <laughs> that was loud. Morning girls. Dream, come say hi. I already gave him a round bell over. Oh gosh, that's bright. It's over there on the other side of that, so half of them are over there munching. Hi. Hi. Are you eating? Getting some breakfast? <laughs> How fuzzy. Yeah, there you see. Ha! You can't get it, can you? Let's get you another bell. It's 
at all these muddy feet. It's like I said earlier, coming from this, it's like a swamp for some reason. Yeah, see? Bless you. That's one way to do it. Anyways, I was able to get this moved over, so now it's dry. Let's hope this area doesn't start doing it again because that's no good. But we do have these waterers. We just got to get them put in. I don't have concrete around them, so no more of that for some reason. It just never dried. The whole pin is dry except for around their water. But it's dry now, huh? She dunked her whole nose in there. Look at you sleeping like a puppy dog. <laughs> Goober. <laughs> oh, I know you're not bowing up to us. Boy, that's one good way to get in trouble. Yeah. That's what I thought. The no no mean. Marcus and Fred. All right, be good. Say bye.